The cameras are fixed to one man facing his former club. He'll want to make a point live on EA TV. Hello, everyone. I must say it's always a real privilege to commentate from this venue, Selhurst Park in South London. I'm Derek Ray, and my commentary partner, as always, is Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Crystal Palace up against Arsenal. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. A glorious chance, brilliantly blocked. Trying to pick out a teammate. Not the best clearance. A gift for any goalkeeper. And Bellingham takes the shot. And a goal! Not wasting much time today. They strike first. Well, let's take another look, and it's a very good goal. And they deserve it, you have to say. They've been excellent. And the action underway again. The onus very much on Palace to find a response now. And Gordon now. Well, plenty of talk about him from the pundits coming into today's match. Taking on his old club and Stuart. Different players react to that in different ways. Well, Derek, I always found it difficult playing against my old club. Oh, look at this, Stuart. An opportunity. It's still alive. Well, it's a wild attempt. He needed something better. Offside, however. Well, you're right. He didn't know it was going to be offside, and that was a shocking miss. Fine work from Palace to win it back. Arsenal have given it away. Goalkeeper got to it. And he's fired over the corner. And under pressure, not on the target. Situation. Huge block. The referee's whistle, and that means the first half is over here in South London. Arsenal with the lead going into this second half, but no room for complacency. Vinicius Jr. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Well, 
quite a lot of speculation if you've been reading the papers or social media regarding Wolves and it does appear they're closing in on their target Stuart yes this has been going on for some time now so no great surprise really hopefully we'll know more in the next few days this could be the equaliser oh a challenge of the highest order Vinicius Junior Erling Haaland just dropping into that deeper position and snuffing out the danger driving their team on here but can they respond with a goal time is running out the tackle completely mistimed and you would expect a booking under the circumstances well, the referee not messing about, he's cautioned him. Well, it had to be a yellow card, and he knew it was coming. And it is substitution time at this juncture, not just from one side, but from both. Has a go! And stopped there by Marquinhos. Corner to Arsenal, what can they do with this one? And there's the delivery. Oh, that's a super piece of defending. So making the substitution now. And he's fired over the corner. Well, they'll try to keep the pressure on in the form of another corner. Not all that convincing defensively. Not really what you want to see from your keeper. Now the quick counter-attack could be on. Oh, in with a chance! And he finds the net. He could hardly miss. Well, here it is again. It's an easy finish in the end, but what was the keeper thinking? That's a poor bit of defending. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. Cup Mainers. It's with Porro. Anderson. Intelligent threaded pass here. On to Anderson. And defensive play to be applauded. And the referee decides enough is enough. It's the end of the game. Arsenal victorious. That's the main headline from this one. Well, as expected, I thought they did everything right today. Their movement, their passing and their work rate were brilliant. That's a thoroughly deserved victory. Can you chat to us for a second about the match? Thanks very much for speaking to us.